Ghost note articulation basically starts with whether your tongue is on the reed or off the reed. And depending on the player, they'll use this technique to shape the quality of the sound, whether it's open. That's just like me playing a G with the octave key, thinking E like he. No attack, just he. And a closed sound for a ghosted note where your tongue is barely touching the reed but the reed is still vibrating. You can hear the distinction in the sound when I put my tongue on the reed and when I take my tongue off the reed. It goes from a very open sound with all of these bright overtones and, and a richer tone quality to a more dampened sound where you're basically hearing the tone of the pitch without a lot of things happening in the higher frequencies. Basically, the fundamental of ghosting on the saxophone is mm, an in sound. Through the practice of studying and understanding this technique, there are basically a handful of combinations that you can create using the tongue in this position, thinking E, like he, to ghost, accent, take your tongue off the reed, put your tongue back on the reed. You'll find patterns in players like Parker, Cannonball, Stitt, and you'll find it also in modern players as people have taken that basic vocabulary from the 40s, 50s, and into the 60s and adapted it to more modern contexts. Whoever you're listening to, you'll hear this technique being applied because it is derivative of those cats that basically built the foundation of jazz saxophone style.